Hey guys, just got some new targets in. These are some steel targets. These are from qualitytargets.com. And I've ordered from them before. In fact, all the steel that you've seen shot in my videos has been from qualitytargets.com. And uh, I've been really happy with them. They, they use really good steel. This is AR500 armor steel. So it holds up really well. Uh, these will pretty much last you your entire life as long as you uh, you know, shoot them with the proper calibers. This one is, uh, I believe, 3 8 inches thick. So this is rated for rim fires, all handguns. And I've shot shotguns at them. Uh, with birdshot and buckshot, you'll be just fine. If you shoot a slug, you may dent it. But uh, pretty much handgun rated. And uh, I, I've shot other targets, and they've been very, very durable. So I decided to order some more. And qualitytargets.com has been the best price that i found anywhere online. They, uh, they do a really good job. This is a set of six 8-inch plates, uh, knockdown plates, and I got it including shipping for $86. So that's pretty good. Uh, they really do a good job with shipping. Uh, you can tell this is just a flat rate box. So, uh, you know, if it fits, it ships, even if it weighs, you know, as much as steel. So that's, that's kind of hilarious. So uh, they, they do a really good job at keeping shipping down. Some places, uh, I checked out actiontargets.com. And they have good products, uh, but the shipping is just really, really high. So definitely check out qualitytargets.com if you're thinking about, you know, picking up some steel targets. So I'm going to shoot these today, uh, break them in, and tell you what I think about them. All right, guys, so as you can tell, I got the uh, six 8-inch targets set up down there. So they are knockdown targets. I just set them up on some log sections. So should work pretty well. So going to start off with the Walther P22 and see if it can knock these things down. Let's give it a try. Should be fun. Having issues. Alright, had some issues with the gun. Uh, probably ammo related. It seemed like they just weren't, weren't firing. Maybe bad primers or something. I'm not sure, but the targets were definitely fun. That one you see there that's still standing didn't quite get knocked over. It, uh, I guess it seems that it just got turned. I must have hit it on the side, but other than that, they definitely fall with the 22. Stop. All right, so we know it falls with the 22. Now we'll try a little bit of nine millimeter. This is the uh, SIG 226. So uh, I suspect it'll fall with this, but should be a lot of fun. All right, let's give it a try. Just like that. That's fun. It's basically a poor man's plate rack, I guess, is one way to look at it. And a lot more portable. SIG 226, rocking it as always. It's a great gun. Let's go set it up and do it again. All right, got another shooter. Gonna give the SIG a try on the plates. Oh, he's alive. Knife him. There you go. Here, take the knife. <laughs> All right, got a lever gun here. This is actually a shotgun. It actually shoots the 410 cartridge. And uh, this is actually made by Rossi. Uh, Winchester used to make one. They don't make it anymore. So this is a pretty interesting concept. This one's been giving us some reliability issues right out of the gate. But we're going to try it on these plates and uh, see if we can get it to run. There you go. Six shots. That's fun. Ran 100% that time. The uh, lever is pretty stiff on this guy. You feel a lot of uh, kind of binding in there and stuff, but it worked. All right, guys. Next up is going to be the good old Remington 870. This is actually one of my uh, home defense shotguns. 
This is a, a compact model, so it's a 20 gauge. Very controllable, has a nice 20 inch barrel. I got a light on there, so I really like the shotgun. So uh, let's give it a try on the plates. There we go. I was uh, one shot shy, reloaded, that was all right. Sure knocks down the place with authority. All right, let's shoot the 870 a little bit more. Got it. Gotta love a shotgun. Hits with authority. Alright guys, so after putting some rounds on these today, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed with them. I mean, for $86 with six targets, uh, they're very high quality. I mean, it's it's really good steel. You can tell there's absolutely no imprints in here at all, uh, even shooting it with 9mm. Now, the majority was 22, so it's not all that taxing, but I've shot the same AR-500 steel in other targets, and I can tell you it's very durable, and it will last you a long, long time. So, I mean... These knockdown targets are, are a lot of fun. Even the little rim fires are enough to knock them over. And uh, so that's great. Now, you do have to go down range quite a bit to set them up. So if you're working at like a really big range or someplace where it's a big hassle to go down range, these are not going to be the best option. But if you're just setting up your own little spot to shoot and uh, you just want a, a quick, easy knockdown target that's, uh, that's lots of fun, these are a great option. And uh, I'm a big fan. So if you have any questions about these, uh, qualitytargets.com 8-inch knockdown targets. Definitely feel free to uh, leave that in the comments down below. I'd be happy to talk with you guys about this stuff. If you uh, like what you saw, feel free to click the little like button and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Everyone have a nice day, and thanks for watching.